Mr. Ferlan, there is a new ISO 16890 standard launched. Why is this so important? That's correct. With this new ISO 16890, we're going to measure the efficiency from filters closer to reality. Also, we are going to measure in four big groups, ISO cores, ISO EPM10, EPM 2.5 and EPM 1, comparable to the fine dust fractions as we know them. Okay, suppose I live near a highway. What filter would you recommend to give me the best protection against fine dust? Well, the World Health Organization warns for fine dust fractions, especially for the very fine particles. So I would recommend you to use at least an EPM1 filter. This filter protects you against the finest particles because studies have shown that you could live up to one year shorter due to the effects from fine dust. So you indicate that health organizations warn for the dangers of small particles, in particular PM1. But why is PM1 more dangerous than, for example, PM10? Well, when we talk about PM1, we talk about fractions from one micron and smaller. Especially those very fine particles have the risk that they can end up in your bloodstream. This creates a risk as your body has difficulties to handle them. Okay, so it's clear to me that a PM1 filter provides the best protection against fine dust. But does that mean that a PM1 filter has more resistance and consumes more energy? No, that's not correct. If you make a filter with, for example, high-end fiberglass material, we're able to make a filter with a high efficiency, a low pressure drop, and thus a low energy consumption. Overall, a PM1 filter gives you the best protection against fine dust, and at the same time can help you to save energy and money. Thank you for your attention. Please visit afprofilters.com for more information, and don't forget to watch our other videos.